take a seat, please? Okay, this meeting is different. It's, a, it's, it's the budget meeting, that's all we're gonna talk about. Well, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get a quorum here. We're gonna make a motion to either accept or not accept the budget. But make to accept the budget, before we do that, we're gonna ask questions. Then when, when we finish asking questions on the budget, we'll ask you if you have any questions before we vote on the budget. All the questions will be answered by first service. We will answer them if the first service asks us to. Okay, I'm going to open up the meeting. We're going to have a, a building. Here. B building. It's here. Here, here. C building is not here because that's something personal. D. Here. Then the two doors. Okay, we have a call. Okay, can I have a motion? Okay, let me read it. It's a motion to approve the proposed 2024 budget as 2024 budget. The units annual payments being due in 12 equal installments being due on the first day each month starting January 2024. Do we have a second from the board? Yes. I second. Okay. Any okay. questions from the board regarding your budget? Okay. Any questions from the residents? Okay. We're going to do it. He's going to run the meeting now. Go ahead. Go ahead, Fred. Go ahead. I just want to know, uh, do we have a certificate of mailing on this uh, uh, meeting notice? The uh, statute requires you have to uh, show us that the the, uh, the thing was mailed on a timely basis. Do you have a certificate of mailing for this yeah. meeting? Yes, Angie. Yes, has. Angie's got it. Angie's got it. Can you read it into the record? That should be part of the record. Okay. Okay, but we got it. We mailed it. We got it. Okay. Pull, pull it up in the uh, in connect. That's what I'm having to do. I thought it was attached to mine. That's okay. We got it though. Okay. Any questions? No questions from the board. Okay. Well, we have. Yes. Now it's from the residents. Fred had his. Yeah. Okay, we'll Ron the... has to go over. Yes, Ron. All right. Well, let's take questions, and then I mean, it, I think it's going to be easier for them to ask questions because I'm sure people have specific questions, and then. Okay. Go ahead. All right, you want to okay, Marilyn, start, Marilyn, Marilyn, start from that side of the room and work this way. We're going to work this way, Marilyn. Okay, um, I, I'm, I'm just, a, I just want to clarify. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Come on up, please, so everyone can hear. <coughs> yes, Marilyn. Thank you. Me too. I just wanted to clarify that what I read as the raise for this, the one bedrooms and the two bedrooms was correct because I've heard the horror stories from Rexford and Hyde and other places that they're going up way, way more than ours are. I understand there are three buildings and we have five buildings so we can spread things over a larger area. But I just want to make sure that when we won't have any other surprises in the course of the year. Not on the budget, you won't. Not on the budget. So off the budget? Are we look They'll be looking at an assessment, but that's a separate entity. The assessment. When do we expect to have the uh, assessment? Be a separate meeting. Last I got it from the lender was <coughs> that they are in the process of finalizing the financing. So I'm hoping to have something by next week, and then there's going to be a separate special assessment meeting that everybody is invited to. How lovely. Yes. Thank you so much. So we have no information. So in terms of our own personal budgets, what you're we receiving can, in the mail, this is we, your budget. This, yes. is it. this is it. And then, but if we get the additional assessment, do we have any idea when it will kick in? As well, it's really not to be discussed at this That's time right. now. Right. We don't have, I don't even have the I just the hate living with, without. We all are. You're not dealing with the petition. Okay, two hands are up. Which one? Okay, yes, miss. Want to come up, please? I, I can speak very loudly. Okay. If you'll hear me. Um, I never received anything of that in the mail. You didn't receive the budget packet in the mail? No. Neither did I. Do you have a separate, separate billing address from your unit address? That's why I asked. I have two addresses, but I didn't receive it in either one. I have my, my mail forwarded, 
and I didn't receive anything. Okay, I which, live in the building. And she does not know what it is. What you can do then is call the office and we can email you a copy of what was the mailing. First residential. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can't, can't you go to the portal and look it up? Yeah, it's on the portal. Yeah, yeah. The portal, and I have instructions actually on the de on the table over there on how to get onto the residence. See them after the meeting. They'll tell you how to get it. You make sure that you get it. Any other questions? Yes, yes, yes sir. I didn't receive one either. Um, I do have two addresses. I received the one from Wilberton. Um, Where do you live, sir? What building? Uh, building uh, building B. B. I didn't receive one for Corbin. And I said one of two ways. You can either call the office, we can email it to you. We have instructions on the desk over there on how to get onto the resident portal where you can access it that way. Anybody else have any questions? Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, the, just for my own clarification, the shortfall that we're trying to cover up is that 1.7, correct? The 1,708,000? Shortfall, what are you referring to as far as the shortfall? On the cost of replacements? <laughs> oh, on the budget? On the pool reserve. <coughs> right, that is... Going down. Yeah. yeah, right now, realistically, if you look at the whole reserve study, throughout the village to be fully funded all of the if you had a reserve study you guys had a reserve study some associations did some associations didn't nobody is fully funded um, you're fully funding you are fully funding yes go ahead explain why so based off the useful lights that you have in place and the amount that you currently have in the Right. In your you bank account, that's how much more you have to get to be. Right. Yes, so the answer to your question is yes. Yes, so the increase in the monthly amounts is not enough to cover that. We still need. Oh, absolutely, assessment. because you guys, realistic, if you looked at the whole reserve study, you guys are underfunded by about $4.6 million. So imagine we try to put $4.6 million more into this budget right now, which you would be paying. And if you look at your roof replacement costs, you can see it's not the actual number because your board is planning on doing a special assessment to make up for that. So that $1.7 million is not including the additional funding that you need for the roofs because your, your association is... You have 1.7 in the reserve for the roof, correct? Yeah, you'll have about 1.7 yes. by the end of the year, and then that's what they were speaking of the special assessment earlier. Part of that special assessment is going to go towards the remaining cost of the replacement of the roofs. To fill in the back, yes, sir. Uh, then leaves you about 3.2 million for all five buildings. Thank you. Gentleman in the back, then, Fred. I just wanted to ask about the future reserves. Uh -huh. You had an expert up here um, a few months ago radio. talking about the potential for the cost of future reserves. He threw out a figure for, I believe, 2025 of an additional $250 a month to cover the future reserve, and then he said it would go down thereafter to about 150. What exactly did he mean by that? There is a, again, it's on, available on the resident portal. If you look at the reserve study, there's an, a summary sheet, and then immediately following the summary sheet is a forecast for like the next 20 years. So for instance, on the, the structural side of your reserve study, this year for 24, you guys are funding $738,661. Starting in 2025, you'll be funding $412,276. So, and then this year, you're going to have three major projects done. You're going to have your roofs done, you're going to have your painting done, and you're going to have your structural engineering repairs done. We obviously are going to deplete all of those reserves, use money from the loan to pay off what we don't have in the reserves right now, and then you have to start refunding those items again. The, the figure that he threw out of approximately 200 is that a legitimate, is that what you expect to I on? don't remember exactly what he referred to. I'd have to go back and watch Fred's, uh, yeah, yes, Fred's, right. Fred's video to see exactly what he referred to. But I, I believe what he was saying was for us to play catch up to, for future reserves, like everything that our complex will need. Mm -hmm. he, I believe he said that in 2025, approximately our increase would be another $250. I don't he said 
we are asking to go down somewhat to about $150, not including inflation. Or well, that's, that's kind of what that forecast shows, going down, like I said, 24-year funding, 700000 The following years, 2 through 10, you're funding 412000 just on the structural side, not the traditional side. So I wish I had a crystal ball and could say that I know for sure what the number's going to be, but I don't. Okay. I'm afraid the woman in the back. You said I was next. No, she raised her hand. Hi. Yes, yes ma'am. Hi, my name is Jean. Sounds so good. So first, thank you, Fred, for taping I watched that whole research yes, study, which yes, was excellent. Yes, you're going to have to because the board can't hear what you're saying. Okay. Hi, Mike. Thanks. Thank you, Fred, for taping these meetings, because I also watched that reserve study, which was very interesting uh, to watch and learn from. And in my notes, what, why I raised my hand, was what I understood, I'm sorry if I have my back to you, the $253 per unit was if we're going to do the straight line method, and if we, which is not really a good thing, if I understood correctly, and it was $156 if we were going to do the pool of funds method, which is recommended. Am I correct? I'm understanding that that correctly. Which is what the board voted on at that which meeting. Which is, to yeah, over to the board it was method. excellent and very clear, and I do highly recommend, I think you can just go on YouTube and watch that whole, uh, it's about 45 minutes, well worth it for everyone Fred to watch. Even, Fred even liked it. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Fred. Thank you. It was very nice. Thank you. Oh, yes, Fred. Oh, 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 I saved your life. You did. You did. Yeah. And all report me for forcible touching. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. He, he says that all the time. I appreciate that. <laughs> yes, Fred. Uh, so, just to summarize, uh, are we, did, I, I don't remember, did the board uh, say we're going to go with the pool? Yes. Yes. yes, they did take a vote yeah. on that. Board vote? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, fine. Um, with the risk that if, if, if an item is underfunded, it will generate a, an assessment. That's the downside of pool funding. Correct. Okay. So we, we have to be diligent so, in making sure so, when we spend so, money, we replenish it. Yeah, yes. Right. So, so you referenced the portal a couple of times. I just want to make a comment or two. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been looking on that portal the last couple of days, and it is a colossal mess. I don't know why you can't sort those documents chronologically. I'm going down there. There's like 10 pages of documents. Part of that's my fault because I've been you know, uh, pushing you to put the documents on the portal, uh -huh. but they're not sorted. You know, you got 2017, and all of a sudden it jumps to 2023, and then I, I found the budget, then the budget disappeared from the portal. I was talking to Lynn. We were laughing. It was like, so can you please, I mean, I, you know, I don't do <laughs> spreadsheets and everything, but I, I think there's a thing called chronological sort at the top of your column where you hit a button, okay. and, and I'd like I'll to take see a look at it. the most recent documents. Okay, uh, I'll take first. a look at it and, and see if we can sort is, it. Why isn't the first service contract? It's on the there. Most, it, when, when did it go on? It's uh, been on there. It was for whatever reason. Whenever it got put on, it was marked as private, but it's now marked as public. And that's the final question is, why are there certain things that only the board can see? I understand if it involves litigation, that that's not to be seen by union owners. I understand that. I support that. Can you tell us what else is partitioned off from the view of the unit owners besides litigation? Anything that has to do with other unit owners. Well, besides collection and personal data, mm -hmm. are there any contracts or anything that we're not allowed to see, but that the board is allowed to see? Because my understanding is we're supposed to see all the contracts. <laughs> all the approved contracts, yes. No, no, the statute says that all bids and contracts doesn't use the word approved. Even before it's voted on, the bids have to be posted. I know Fred. you haven't been doing that. Fred. This has nothing to do with well, the budget. Well, it it's doesn't have anything to do with the budget. Well, it has the first couple did. Okay, thank you. I made my yeah. point. Thank this you. This woman in the back had her hand. You will hear, I'll get you after her. You're going to have to come up because I know we won't be able to hear you from back there. Oh, believe me, you can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we won't understand you. about that. I just wanted a little clarification. I think uh, I was told that uh, for the clubhouse, that has already been budgeted in. 
That's that has what, nothing to do with this budget. budget. That's separate. That, that has nothing to do with this that's budget. Your, that's your Send West coupon. That has nothing to do with your Cornwall coupon. It's a separate, separate uh, budget. I'll tell you, when, when this meeting's over, we'll answer that question. And yes, Miss. Wait, she had a hand up. Do we know how much a month, I don't know, how much a month we're going to have to be paying over our present monies? Helen, do you know how much you're paying right now? Wait, 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 what will you be paying? That's no, that's wait, wait, she's, oh, total. she's not finished. Then she's not finished. Yes. Can you just repeat that? Please? Why do you repeat that? Okay. The, the one-bedroom apartment will now be paying an additional $165.86. And the two-bedroom? And the two-bedroom will now pay an additional $191.20. All right, so the, to answer your question then, for the one bedroom, it's 436.48. The two bedroom is 493.20. It's on the last page of your budget. Right. It tells you exactly what you're paying. Mike, like that's January 1st. You're saying now. We're not paying well, now. Well, you're the new budget. In 2024. Yes, ma'am. Only now. We just told me again about the one bedroom added yes. up to 165.86. The one bedroom, your new total is going to be four hundred and thirty-six dollars and forty-eight cents. Four thirty-six and forty-eight cents. Yes, sir. Wait, we had this gentleman here. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Is there a difference between a corner unit, two bedrooms, or regular two bedrooms? We don't have, we don't have coins. We, don't have, we only have two types of uh, apartments here. One, one and a half, two, one and a half. We, no, no. No, they call them end units in the other places. Harvey, did you want to say something? Yeah, I don't know if it's too late or, I don't know if it's too late or not, but when you're giving me these numbers for the payments every, if you take the, the, the not the dollars, but the, what do you call that, the change? Mm -hmm. Raise it up if it's 28 cents. Raise it up to not be with the, with the nickels, dimes, and quarters. That's just when you're making a check. When we plug it into the tool that creates no, this budget, you that's just, just round the way it up. It. You can round it. Keep the change. How about you round it down? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Come up to a dollar. Go back to the other dollar. Go back to seven bridges. No, but if you make. A check, and you, you you know the numbers, the qu the quarter, the twenty eight cent, the twenty nine. No, 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 we don't want round. But you don't make a check. You have it pulled out. I have a drawer. I don't, you. I don't care. I'm just saying. All right. round I know it. Harvey had a question over right. here. Harvey, you have a question? Yeah. Well, it's, it's a clarification. Okay. Okay. Miss, please. The reserve analysis page. Uh -huh. I just one word answers from Ron. Rejuvenation covers what? Parking lot. Uh, overlay. Parking lot. Uh, reserves themselves, 48,000 reserves. Uh, reserves. Reserves. Reserve an hour. You put that on there. It's uh, 48,000 a change. Being that it's not broken down there, I would imagine we're going to use that towards your, we, you're pulling funding from that to pay for your reserve studies, the ones that you've had done. Okay. Um, Because as you see, we're not funding that anymore. Okay. Painting, painting they estimate two hundred thousand dollars. Yes. Yes. Okay, that, and that includes the twenty-five towers. Yes. Yep. And the driveways for the trash bins and all yes. that. Yes. Almost extended. Let's keep the it quiet. One, one, one last thing. What is it? The third maintenance. Five hundred twenty-five thousand. Yeah, that's just sort of a catch-all catch for any of the non-SERS and traditional, or the non-SERS related items. And what's, it's, and what's not in the reserve? It's, it's, it's our cushion. It's our cushion. Yes. Okay. okay, I just, we cleared it up looking at last year's budget, Harvey, that reserves. Yep. We had money in for the tower facades when you guys pulled the tiles right. off. That goes towards the, that's actually going to go towards the that's painting. My person. Uh, the, for the elevators. The money here, allotted here is for mechanical, I assume. Correct. Do we have any money at all still left in, in our reserve for eventual refurbishment? That is your reserve right there. That's it. So we, 
In other words, they have zero for refurbishment. No, it's in, it's, in, it's in that. That part of that 140 is going to be, it could be used for refurbishment, but likely you're going to have major components and the elevators fail before you're going to wind up refurbishing. Yeah. I know that has been a big topic of conversation since I started with yeah. the company, but... Mechanical is always primary. Right. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You got it. Any other questions? Any other? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All the problems that we're having now are because of what happened in Miami last year with the collapse of the building. That was a building that was 18 or 20 stories high, had garages in the building, had pools, was a couple of blocks from the beach. Most of our story, or actually all our buildings, are only four story. And this is, I understand, where the cutoff is. If we had three story buildings, this wouldn't affect us. No, well, correct. No, no, that's not right. Anything three stories and higher. Right. So three. From where three. So three. Fred, Fred. What He's I'm saying suggesting, four. if we write to our congressmen yes. that this shouldn't really affect us, because we are not related to that building, the, that building at all. Is there any chance what a great of us idea. to be able to get this resolved, changed? Uh, I've already spoken to our uh, local officials. That's the ones who are, this Congress is not doing it. The local officials are doing it. I spoke to them, and they said the necessary changes are going to stay in place. I said, can't you change them? They said, no. Nope. That was the answer. Their primary concern is, and even if you go back and watch Fred's uh, video when the reserve analyst was here, Legislation came from down from the state. State didn't want to take responsibility, so they left it to each individual municipality to come up with their guidelines, especially when it comes to the structural engineering and the milestone inspections and all of that stuff. So it would be better. I mean, Mike has political connections, but if you wanted to write your congressman, local person, it's probably going to be better coming from you guys as the residents than it would even be from the board. Here's, here's what's going on. We have... Uh Maria Sachs, who's a local commissioner, she's asking for a loan. And I don't think we're going to get a loan, but she's asking for a loan to help out. All the and then one of the congresswomen who's not in our district is asking that it become under FEMA. And I think we got, I don't think we have a shot there either, to tell you the truth. And I, and I get everything you're saying. We don't compare anywhere near like what Surfside is, but all of the, le all the legislature is concerned about because of Surfside is the safety and the structural integrity of the buildings three stories and higher. This is what the real politically what it is. is to, uh, how do I put this nicely? Politically, they just want to make sure that they want everyone to be safe and they pass laws to make it safe. So if it happens again, they'll say, hey, we told you to fix it. You didn't fix it. It's not our fault. Yes. But yes. Mike? Wait, no, Marilyn. Oh, I'm sorry, Marilyn. Mike had his hand up first. I'm sorry, yes. Research uh, earlier uh, this week and the state laws specifically talk to uh, address the issue of shoreline buildings on multiple state laws versus buildings interior. And it's like a, I don't know, 15, 20 block area. So it's definitely a, a, a valid point. I hadn't thought of that, but that's a very good we point. We did that, but we did that already. No, 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 I'm saying, Mike, that existing law in Florida specifically segregates the shoreline buildings versus the interior. Not really. I'm not sure exactly, because no. honestly I haven't read through all, every single word of the 77 page legislation that came down, but the differences that I know of between shoreline buildings within a couple miles of the beach and where we are Three out miles. here Three is miles. the frequency of when reserve studies done and when your structural engineering or your milestone inspections need to be done and that kind of stuff. No, I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is that existing law that the attorneys refer to in court cases specifically segregate the shoreline versus the interior. And it's a box, not miles. And that's since the legislation was, with the legislation came down initially in what, 22, and then finally changed again in June of this year. Yeah. It's so worth reading. The legislation that is in place now only takes account three stories and higher. We follow Florida Statute 718, as you probably know. So we, we look at that statute when we talk about what governs your association. And Florida Statute 718 says, any association is three-story and higher. What our beliefs was originally, that they were going to go after the ones that were closer to the shoreline. 
but associations are getting letters now in Century Village asking them from the municipality, so Palm Beach County asking them, where's your report at? Have you gotten your milestone done? Submit your milestone here if you have gotten it done. We're getting those letters now. They're not taking, they're not looking at the shoreline first. They're looking and at everybody. I understand that. That's not my point. I'm saying that existing law statutes on the books in Florida specifically address this issue of having shoreline buildings versus interior buildings as to their stability and needs and so forth. So it's worth looking into. Looking at the statute that doesn't govern this? It doesn't so I our representative, our, our state representative, and I'm yeah, pointing good. out that this is a flaw because there's a difference between 15 miles from the ocean and sitting on the ocean. Anybody, and you don't have to be a lawyer to figure it out. Yeah. So I think it's a valid point worth checking into. That's all okay, we'll saying. look into it. I'll make like a phone call. Yes, sir. Uh, who would we write the letters to? If we can find that out, and I think if everybody made a concerted effort to write something, maybe, I'm not saying it would help, but at this point, we have nothing to lose. That's true. That's true, and, 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 and kind of piggyback off something Mike said, Sandeep, who did the reserve analysis presentation here at your last meeting, we all went to one at our corporate office and listened to a different reserve analysis Analyst. 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 There you go. Analyst that did structural engineering and did all that stuff, and both of them said, while there may be tweaks to the new legislation, it's not going away. It's going to be here. Like I said, it may be tweaked by some, whatever they decide down the road, but the legislation in a, as a whole is not going away. Yes. Uh, I understand some of our other uh, associations have had uh, engineering assessments. Have, uh, do we have any idea what they found? As they, I'm not asking for specifics, but how, how, what shape are the buildings in that have been looked at so far? This is not the budget. You have to bring up in another meeting. Yeah. Well, yeah. nothing else was in the budget. It's on. Uh, if you go, the, the structural engineering inspection is available on the resident portal, and you can read through it. It'll who's tell you who's of yours? on the Cornwall resident portal. Granted, it's not a budget question per, per se, but what I will say, the biggest issue I've seen in any of the structural engineering inspections for any of my associations, and Lee would probably say the same thing, is to do with your expansion joints. That's the biggest cost of any of the repairs that are going to be made. Wait, Harvey has something. Okay, just the last question. Uh, there's been a lot of talk, and I've read a lot of articles on uh, the, the state is going to get involved in uh, enforcing now plumbing, they want an inspected plumbing, patios, electrical, sprinkler systems in each apartment. Should that have been part of this reserve study? If you because look it's coming. That building repair line that you look at on that sheet, that is a catch-all for those additional SERS items, the structural engineering or structural integrity reserve study. That is a kind of a catch-all for now for your plumbing and your electrical and your fire safety systems. That's what we put that in there for. Are we going to be collecting uh, additionally every year? Yes. To keep it current? Yes. We'll have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, on the uh, reserve fund, what is the overlay? Overlay has to do with the parking lots. Uh, Repaving. Which is still in your budget, but not part of the SERS, which is the more important of the SERS and the traditional. This, this gentleman didn't ask a question yet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Will you please use them? I, I can't understand half of what they're saying out here because it just goes someplace else. My hearing isn't good. In the beginning, you used the microphone and we knew what was happening. Okay. Like the first lady came up talking on the microphone. Okay. Okay. Going okay. further, any, any more questions from, yes? How often are we supposed to have? Can you hear? <coughs> okay, no, no, it's all right. Let him come up and ask it. I get a microphone, I say. <laughs> Are you any good? That, that, that'll no. be after That's the meeting. That's why I don't use a microphone. That, that'll be after the meeting. That'll be after the meeting. Okay. How often are we supposed to have the building painted? Because it seemed to me it was just done about, maybe not even three years ago. Five years. Five years. Five years. Five years. Five years. 
Every five years. Five years. Was it five years since we left? Yes. 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 I'm getting Time older. No, time's just flying by faster. It, it, I'll tell you, when you do a budget, you say to yourself, was it really five years ago? I'd like to call a motion. Yes, wait, Fred has one thing. Yes, no, Fred. Just on the paint, it's not just aesthetic. It seals the building. Correct. Yeah. Well, even if the paint looks great, you know, it's the sealant that's important. Okay. Correct. Let's go. Harvey, did you, I thought you raised your hand again. Pulling the boats? You want to? Okay. I'd like to bring it to the table to the boats. Okay. Elevator. One by building. Each building. Can you read the motion? Yeah, let's read the motion one more time and then go ahead. Okay, on the agenda. The motion to approve the proposed 2024 budget as a 2024 budget. The unit's annual payments being due in 12 equal installments being due on the first day of each month, starting in January 2024. Who's making the motion? You already made the motion. No, she didn't make the motion. No, you didn't make the motion. You said you want to bring it to a vote. Okay, I'll a. Make the motion. Yes. B. Yes. C's not here. D. Yes. Yes. yes, it's unanimous. Well, Lynn, yes. Yes, yes. Coming. They all voted yes. I better vote yes. She better vote yes. Okay, the, budget's, yes. the budget's passed and the meeting officially is over. Make a motion to adjourn. And then I'm going to tell you, yes, miss. You, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, everybody, please. One more minute. Yes, miss. Not at this meeting, but I'll tell you what I'll do. After we finish this meeting, I'll take questions on good and welfare, okay? It won't be an official meeting, but if you have questions, I'll stay here and take them. Okay, I have a motion to, and it's all. I made the motion to close the meeting. Yeah. Okay, Second. all in favor? Yes. Okay, the meeting's closed. Now, do you have something on good and welfare? Yes, go ahead. This is going to be informal. 